Fucking yes, come on. Manchester United have won away at the Etihad Stadium. Two goals to nil. Really fucking pleased with that for Manchester United. What a victory. Manchester City, 21 games undefeated and hadn't even drawn a game in that period of time. Manchester United weren't in great form going into this game and no one gave Manchester United any hope of going to the Etihad and getting a victory, let alone keeping a clean sheet and winning two goals to nil. I'm so thrilled with that. We're not going to win the league now, we know that, but we've got to be second, we've got to be the, the best of the rest. And we really needed to win this after Leicester won yesterday. It left Manchester United in a bit of a hairy position in third place. But we've got the job done and we've won. I wasn't expect. I, I just thought this was a throwaway game. I thought that the game against Palace was much more important than we got three points there because I thought we were never going to get anything from this fucking game. But we have done a different lineup to what he put out before with no Cavani in the starting lineup, apparently injured, which we pretty much knew last night when he wasn't in the travelling squad. No Mason Greenwood in the starting lineup either. He's brought Anthony Martial. Back into the starting lineup. Obviously, Henderson remained in goal. Pretty much the rest of the team we know would pick itself with Fred and McTominay in midfield. Back four, we knew what he was going to pick with Lindelof alongside Maguire. So we pretty much knew that part of the team. But it was the forward positions we weren't too sure on. James obviously coming back in to the team for this game. And primarily, we could not have had a quicker start for Manchester United. That penalty after 34 seconds, I think it was when Jesus fouled Anthony Martial, who I thought Martial was good today, I really did, was a lot better than we've seen him in recent times, did miss a good chance in the second half, but besides that, was probably up there for man of the match in this game, probably was for me man of the match in this game actually, uh, winning that penalty, and Bruno Fernandes obviously tucking it away, only just getting it in the fucking net, and I thought, well, we've gone 1-0 up, I wasn't over excited, it was doing, getting in, in Joel Gold, Injoled into the excitement of that goal because I knew after 34 seconds getting a penalty. We know what happened against Spurs earlier in the season at Old Trafford when we got fuck, fucked up 6-1 when we took the lead. So I wasn't getting over excited with that goal. But from then on, Man City, obviously we knew after, after that we actually had a chance to get a second goal. Luke, Luke Shaw fluffing his lines from a shot which he put straight down the throat of Edison, which I thought was a massive blow because I thought if Manchester United could have got the second goal there, that would have been a real sucker punch. And then Man City obviously come more into this game, a lot more into this game. They did squander one good chance where the ball was fizzed across the box, low down, right to the near, near post, to the far post. And I forget who it was, someone couldn't quite tap it into the net. That was just before half time. They've had a couple of other chances and Henderson's made some good saves. And I thought Henderson was brilliant today, I really did. Uh, he was the, the reason why Manchester United partly scored that second goal with his distribution. And I just thought he was commanding. I thought it was a great performance from Henderson. And I think, I, I've been thinking for a few a few weeks now that he should be Manchester United's number one. His, his goal, um, clean sheets to games, it's just been fantastic this season for Manchester United. Uh, I know Sergio Romero was pretty good as well for Manchester United. And I don't think De Gea's has always been the best in terms of keeping clean sheets. And I think that, that, that De Gea has been a great shot stopper for Manchester United. You can't argue with that. He's saved Manchester United a lot of times in, in terms of saving shots. But is he commanding enough? If, is he good, good with the ball at his feet? Is he good at his distribution? And a lot of question marks have been asked on that side of David De Gea's game. And Dean Henderson is putting himself in the front running for the number one spot. He really is for Manchester United. I'm still not convinced if he's going to be at the levels of a Van der Sar, a Peter Schmeichel, not at all. But that, that second goal was very, very good work from Dean Henderson. And it was unlike, an unlikely goal from Luke Shaw. It was a good, it was a good strike from Luke Shaw, no, no doubt about it. But just, just unlikely. Manchester United really catching them out on the, on the break, really, to be honest. Uh, a few times in that first half where we could have maybe got the second goal. I thought just before half-time, was it Rashford running into about three players? When I thought, I don't know, maybe he could have slipped James in, I can't remember, but Manchester United could have got that second goal then. There was always that threat on the counter attack when we've taken the lead. Manchester United getting that second goal, which I was just hoping for, because that would give us daylight. And when we did get that second goal, Anthony Martial missing a fucking great chance to put us 3 3 0 up when he shot in, and Edison saved it low down, which was a bit of a kick in the bollocks, so I thought. Getting that third goal then would kill the game off, but 2-0 is still quite hairy because Man City did have some chances. Sterling missed an absolute fucking sitter 
in that second half to bring it 2-1. Then Foden fluffed his lines with one just wide of the post as well. And it did look, there was times where the ball was running out of play or, a Manchester, or it was just falling to a Manchester United bloke. And it did look, with 20 minutes to go, like it was just Manchester United's day. It really did. Things were just not falling for Man City today. Uh, he did try and make some substitutions and we might have to make a forced one with bringing Rashford off because he's got injured, which is a blow because Manchester United don't have the personnel on the bench. I mean, you're looking besides Greenwood, what the fuck was on the bench going forward? You've got Shoratiri and you've got Ahmad Diallo on the bench, which are two, I mean, two players that have hardly had any football for Manchester United. And they're your next options to come off the substitutes bench. I don't know what we're going to do for the land game if Rashford's out injured because we're going to struggle to even, we won't even make a 12-man bench. We'll probably have to go down to a nine-man bench or something because we've got the FA Youth Cup coming up on Wednesday and I don't think too many youngsters are going to be involved on the substitutes bench for that game in Milan, against Milan. So it is going to be a bit worrying times if we get any more injuries because our squad hasn't got the capabilities on the bench that Man City has. With we, I mean, you look to the two benches today and it was like fucking chalk and cheese, but he has definitely got another one over on Pep Guardiola here. He has slapped that bald cunt left, right and centre again here. He really has. And it is great to see see that bald cunt on the touchline moaning and everything. It really is because, I mean, the amount of money that he has spent. And, and he's done well to get Man City to the juggernaut they are. But the amount of fucking money he's taken him to get Man City to where they are. And Manchester United, yes, we've spent a lot of money, we, we have, but we haven't got the 50, 40, 50 million pound players on the bench all the time that Man City got. It does, does annoy me a bit, but it is what it is. I would be happy if Manchester United were able to spend and put 50, 60 million pound players on the bench rather than signing a Lukaku for like 80 odd million or a Harry Maguire for 80 million and get three or four 50 million pound signings definitely because it is, it's what's improved Man City's overall depth of their squad which is where Manchester United need to go to get to that level of Man City are at this current moment in time. We need a few more 30, 40 million pound solid really good players that could go into the first team that you wouldn't know if any different um, from one player coming out to the next but I think Manchester United overall we, we, we did deserve the victory we could have kept the ball definitely a lot better in midfield from Fred and McTominay there but he seems to go safe with them too every time but Fred could definitely do with keeping the ball a bit more he still he is, is very basic as well I think we can definitely upgrade in that midfield position and obviously up front we still can can do as well but overall you can't be disarmed by that from Manchester United a clean sheet away at the Etihad from Dean Henderson, is he now putting himself in the shot window for the Manchester United number one, and maybe even the fucking England number one if he continues to put in good performances for Manchester United. If he gets three or four more clean sheets in the next three or four games, could he be Manchester United's goalkeeper, and could he be in the next international squad starting lineup for England? We will have to wait and see, but he's only 24 years of age, so it's good to see. But I'm going to give Anthony Martial man of the match today. I thought he was decent. It was a shame he couldn't get that goal to get him back along the confident, along his confidence in goal scoring. I've been critical of him over the years, but he is still one of Manchester United's senior players now. He's got to move forward and try and get back to some form that he showed last season. And maybe Manchester United can finish the season strongly. Maybe get ourselves a trophy. And that would be a good season for Manchester United. If we could get an FA Cup or a Europa League and just move forward next season in second position, that would be progress. It really would for Manchester United. The last couple of weeks have been doom and gloom. But at least we've got that out of our system today and won the game. So come on, United. Let's go on to the Milan game in the week in confident mood. Let me know your thoughts, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're watching this on Facebook, please do hit the share button because of that win. Get in there, United.